Hi, this is Dixie from The Fool's Journey. I am doing one card tarot slash shocker readings, which are technically two card readings because I'm pulling a card on the energy centers first. Um, next up is Josie. Uh, we don't have any specific questions, so we will see what we will get. Which center do we want to start with? one. This is the one that, um, in terms of, of what we're focusing on for this particular reading, or, I mean, I didn't specifically ask this time what needs the most attention or whatever, so, but that's what Spirit wants to talk about. So that's what we will talk about. And to get some additional insight on this. Traditional decks, this particular card would be the star. Okay, so it's that's a very positive card. That's <coughs> that's a nice one. Let's see what what we can come up with. First thing I would say is expect your efforts to connect to work. It's like you you ask for help, okay? You you know you have your people around, you know. You, you have angels and spirits and guides and, and, you know, you talk to them, whatever. But, um, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to try this or I'm going to try that. And then you don't expect it to work. And you kind of are just overwhelmed when it does. Okay, you're, you're pretty plugged in anyway. All right. You already know that. Um, the other thing, if you notice this particular image, the... The light, the person who's pictured is holding it in their hand, like this. It's within your control, okay? You can set the parameters around it. Um, you, you, you can ask for information when, when you want, but it doesn't have to overwhelm you. It doesn't have to be out of control, okay? Um, you, you know, I'm, I'm seeing a fence. You can fence it in. You can ask for the rules. Okay, I mean, you, you can sit down with your folks and say, all right, you know, in my quest to, to connect, I want to always be physically safe. I want to, you know, be protected from this, that, and the other thing, or whatever. Thing is, you have free will, all right, but you don't have to just take whatever is given to you. So when you when you start doing this kind of stuff, expect for it to work, and think about the parameters around which you you, you want to do it. Um, if you only want information that it would be in the highest and best good of everyone to share then ask to get that information and not random stuff. You know, if, if there are certain things that you don't want to know too much about for whatever reason, <coughs> then ask for that. Um, I, I just think sometimes that doesn't occur to you, okay, to, to say, okay, well, this is the working definition. And then, I mean, you can change that as time goes on. But basically, I, I want you to have like an ongoing dialogue or negotiation with your angels, your your guides, your people, all right, and say, okay, this this is what I want to do, and this is what I don't, so that you can feel in control of your connection to, you know, the universal tap. Um, and, well, a lot of times, particularly when you open up more, you'll start getting random stray stuff, like... You know, you, you might suddenly know what somebody's thinking, or, you know, you might get some information about the waiter, or la 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 stuff that you didn't necessarily want, and it, it, it feels like the floodgates have opened. And, um, what, if, if you're kind of a Neptunian type, that's going to be even, even more so. 
So what what you want to do is to, to build some protective shielding around that and make a conscious choice about what you want in and what you don't, okay? And ask for help setting up that. Um, but consciously construct it and consciously channel how you use that energy, okay? Anytime you sit down to work, um, you know, make sure that you specifically state your intentions, set your intentions, and have clear intentions before you do it, not just, well, let's see what happens, and I don't think anything's going to happen, and oh my God, everything did happen, all right? Because that, that's kind of what makes it freaky. Um, so, yeah, I... Another interesting thing about this, okay, this particular card, and you probably can't see it in the video, maybe I'll include a picture of it, but um, in the middle of this light, there's a very faint image of an angel, okay, that, that divinity, that connection that you're getting through means of this, you're not on your own with it. All right? It doesn't have to be scary because you're not on your own with it. So, ask your people for help figuring out the hows, the whys, and the wherefores. And once you do that, then you'll feel like it's in the palm of your hand and you can use that energy any way that you want as opposed to just however. Okay? I hope that helps. Best wishes to you. Peace out, Miss Josie. Bye-bye.